YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you this rather cool looking Adidas die watch. This watch is a little bit compromised, for that reason I call this as just a toy watch, but it is priced accordingly so we can't really complain. That major problem with this watch is that it looks like a diver watch, but it has only 50 meters of Chinese water resistance, so I wouldn't wanna get this watch wet. But that's not the reason why I bought this watch. The reason why I bought this watch is the loom. I had many Adidas dive watches and all of them had very good loom. So I wanted to see can I go to the cheap side of things and still get a good loom. And the short answer is yes. This loom is actually pretty good. I will show you comparison to, in, in comparison to some other watches. So before we get into details. I want to say thank you Adasdai for giving me a discount on this watch. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you for supporting this YouTube channel. Now let's take a better look at the watch. Let's start a quality checkup with the bezel action. Bezel action feels very unrefined. Clicks feel soft in a bad way, there is not good definition between clicks and bezel has a lot of free play, but considering the price point, I'm actually happy that this bezel stays in place. It has enough of a friction to be used as a timing device. So it does its job, it does what it's supposed to do. You can actually time things using this bezel, which is nice. Now, considering the alignment, it has so much free play that I can't even tell if it is aligned properly, but I would say it's, it's fine. I would say alignment, at least on my particular example, is good. I can't really complain. Let's check the crown action. This is not screw down crown, this is just push pull crown, you know, just 50 meters of water resistance. So how is the crown action? It's not fast, ratio is rather slow, I would say it feels good, has nice dampening, it's not loose, it's actually not bad, it's actually not bad, it doesn't feel jumpy or anything like that, it's okay. Now let's try to set it on exactly 45 minutes and it stays in place which is ra rather a rare thing to see on this price level yes stays in place very nice now let's see how it flips the date first of all i want to adjust the date myself like that okay now let's see how close to the midnight it gets to flip the date all right 9 p.m 10 p.m what 11 p.m and still nothing i can still see the date okay okay at 11 15 it starts engaging the date 11 45 let's see how close to the midnight it flips what wow that's nice that's nice Now, how does this watch feel like just handling in the fingers, between the fingers? Uh, the case itself is alloy case with black coating and this black coating has matte finish and it doesn't get any fingerprints or smudges. It feels really good. I can touch this watch, enjoy it and it's like zero smudges, no fingerprints whatsoever and there is not a single sharp edge or corner on the case it's really well done it feels really really good not a single sharp edge and doesn't get any smudges it's it's really nice it's really nice to touch now the bracelet and the clasp are exactly the same quality as you get from like 100 euro at this dive watch so no surprises here either i wouldn't call it sharp but it's not super well refined. It's the same story as on any other Adidas Dive watch. 
could be a little bit softer on edges but I couldn't call it sharp. Now the clasp also could be a little bit softer around the edges but it's not sharp either. It does have some sound does have some sound of cheapness but what's interesting is that once you lock it in place it sits really tightly it is well it is really well made it's very precise i mean it has no play look i really want to show you once i lock it in place it clicks really nicely and there is zero play it's, it's kind of surprising at this price level lock it in place like it's really nice it's really tight so when i put this watch on my wrist by the way putting this watch on my wrist it doesn't pull any hair doesn't scratch my skin it feels good it's, i can't really complain and when, once i lock this clasp into place i mean it feels really good really good i, I can't really complain it's it's rather well made I want to take a better look at the watch so I took off of its original bracelet. I have worn this watch for most of the week and I'm kind of surprised how well this black coating is holding on because I had several watches with black coating previously and they were wearing off surprisingly quickly. This one I don't see anything new. It looks like it's out of the box. It does have those, you know, edges, which are a little bit kind of unfinished. But I don't see any wear marks. Only this little scratch. I mean, around the hinges. Everywhere. It is holding up rather well. Hmm. It's not bad. The outside the inside the part the handling that touches the case i mean it is holding rather well hmm surprisingly so now what i want to do actually want to open up this back case i want to see if this is really a screw down case back and want to see what's the movement inside right let's open it up let's see what's inside oh it's actually a screw down case screw down case back which is nice miyota japan not bad it's I, I i would say it's pretty good i don't really understand but as far as i can tell you this is not a bad movement at all i mean most importantly it doesn't have ticking sound crown action feels good minute hand doesn't jump when i set it on 45 it's actually pretty good Now speaking about water resistance of 50 meters, let's check if we have any rubber gaskets. And I already see one. Here is one rubber gasket. Okay, so case back does have a rubber gasket. But big question is, does the crown stem has a rubber gasket? Let's pull out the crown and let's see. Okay. The, the crown stem itself, no, I, I can't really see, doesn't look like there is any rubber, but to be honest, I can't really see. Now let's take out the movement. Yes, by the way, no dust inside. It's fairly unusual to get a watch at this price level 
from AliExpress without any dust inside, which is nice. Well done, Adidas dive. It's a clean watch. Now let's put this dial aside. What I want to see, if I can see any rubber gaskets inside this tiny hole. Hold on a second. Let me zoom in a little bit. Well, there is something, but is it a rubber gasket? I'm, I'm not sure. Hold on a second. Let's try this. Let's take a crown. Let's put it in. Let's see if it feels rubbery. You know what? It actually feels like... It feels like a rubber. It's like it gets soft and squishy, kind of. Yes. Yes, it, it, it probably does. Otherwise, it wouldn't be this dampened yes this dampening definitely comes from a rubber yes okay okay we good we good i believe you are 50 meters water resistance i would say that loom is the main selling point of this watch it's a lot of fun, especially considering the price point. Now let's have some fun with the loom. Let me tell you what, this watch is up to the very strong competition. It has very strong competition on its left and on its right. Now, you can pause this video and read what watches do you see. And I'm gonna turn off the lights in 3, 2, 1, off the lights. So initial boost is very strong initial loom is very nice but does it hold up five minutes just fine 10 minutes perfect 15 even 20 minutes i can still read the time let me tell you what all watches that you can see at least a little bit at 20 minute mark in real life you can actually read the time well into the night actually well into the morning no problem whatsoever i actually been using this adders dive as my night watch for the past week I charge it up with light, put it behind my pillow, and I have no trouble reading the time well into the morning. So if you're buying this watch for the loom, you are not gonna be disappointed. So what are the conclusions? Well, considering the price point, I don't really know many other options that would give you such a strong loom for so cheap. So if good loom is something that you want for cheap, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with this one. It's a lot of fun. Loom is pretty good on this watch. And overall, considering the price point, I would say this watch is rather well made. And it feels good on the wrist. And on top of that, the most importantly, it looks really good. It looks really good. I absolutely love the looks of this watch. So, where I gonna rate this watch? On my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. This watch is not bad. That's where it goes. Not bad watch. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.